This wind farm in Oklahoma stretches across more than 8,000 acres of land, but soon it could all be gone. These turbines were built on tribal lands, and now the Osage Native American nation wants them removed. And we're tired of this. Just, you know, we, we've been tired of this. My father's generation was tired of it. My grandparents, my great-grandparents. And uh, here we are. So we're going to keep pushing. It's what's below the ground that has become a source of conflict. Following a more than decades-long legal fight, a federal judge has ordered energy company NL to dismantle the wind farm. The removal project will come with an over $300 million cost and result in the loss of renewable energy for about 50,000 homes. This ruling is a result of an appellate court's previous decision. It determined building the turbines was a form of mining, and a lease for that work was never obtained from the Osage Minerals Council. While the wind farm's developers did begin leasing surface rights for the project back in 2013, Building each of the facility's 84 turbines required individual underground bases, 10 feet deep and 50 feet wide. The Osage Nation argued this activity impacted the tribe's ability to utilize the subterranean resources they're entitled to, including minerals, natural gas, and oil. Ultimately, a federal judge agreed with the tribe, saying that without a mining license, the energy company would need to uproot. The court concluding NL's actions amounted to interference with the sovereignty of the Osage Nation. The Tribes Mineral Council says it expects NL to fully comply with the court's subsequent order to completely remove the wind farm. The two sides, however, will likely be back in front of a judge next fall. That's when the Osage Nation plans to pursue damages, such as compensation for harm done to the land, legal fees, and all profits and tax incentives from the state.